Good morning and welcome as we continue our daily devotions uh, looking at the book of 1 Corinthians. Today we're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is a passage that is well known to a lot of Christians as the love chapter. Uh, more than likely, uh, lots of people know it even if you're not Christian because you've been to a wedding and you've heard it read there. Uh, I'll read just part of this this morning for you. Starting at verse 4, Paul writes, Love is patient. Love is kind, love does not envy or boast, it's not arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its own way, it's not irritable or resentful, it does not reject, rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never ends. And Paul goes on to say at the end of that, so now faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. Uh, many people love that passage of scripture. Uh, as a pastor, uh, honestly, I've heard it one too many times. And it's an incredible important, incredibly important passage in scripture, but it's one that's often misinterpreted. It's often read at weddings, yes, but the context of these verses is, is really important because it's not so much about the kind of love that we can have for each other. Because in the context of a wedding, especially in the context of a marriage, look again what Paul says. Love is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It doesn't insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It doesn't rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. If you can show me one marriage that faithfully manages to do that all the time, I'll give you a $100 bill. It just simply isn't the case. What Paul is talking about here in 1 Corinthians 13 is not so much about the love that we have for one another, but the love that God has for us. Now, yes, God sets up for us an example that we should follow, and we should strive for those things in not just our marriages, but in our relationships. But at the end of the day, 1 Corinthians 13 isn't about us, uh, not us as the object anyway, the operator. It's about Jesus and the love that God has for you in Christ, because his is a love for you that never fails, that endures all things, bears all things, and will never end. So today, as you consider that passage again, as you read through 1 Corinthians 13, remember that and remember the love that God has for you in Christ. Have a great day.